All right, guys, I'm doing another update. I wanted to get some more boxes, but I only got a few. So I have these two, and then I have stuff from CD Source uh, where I traded some Blu-rays in and whatnot. So I'm gonna show you all that. I'll dig in. So what I'll do is I'll go through everything, and then if you guys wanna like cut out, then go ahead. But you know, I got tons of stuff to look at. So I I'm even gonna put the poster up in a frame while I'm on camera, cause why not? So. Open this one. I really need to get a utility knife again. This is ridiculous. I'll cut like one of my Blu rays up or something. Alright. So. These are these, these are for DVDs. They're not like just cases. I'm gonna put those on, so they're nothing special. I had to get a few more of those for my DVDs. All right, now the big one. Now this was a trade. It's a bigger box, or not a trade, I did, Never mind. I bought this one. Sorry, I have a trade going on, so I got confused. Can't help that. Got too much going on. You just can't keep track of all this stuff. That's how it goes. So, you know, I've waited to open this for a while now because I thought I was going to get all the other stuff, like stuff from Amazon, uh, stuff from Walmart. And it just kind of was like it's running late. And then one order I had from. Um, Walmart, they actually ended up canceling, I believe, so, yeah. All right. Another Clyde Barker movie, of course. We gotta add in. This guy did a really good job. This is a guy that really cares about packaging better than any other place you're gonna go to like when you buy they just don't package it that nicely so yeah night breed now I know that he got this I don't know where he got these cases from oh wow it actually locks in I, I thought it would come right out kind of like the steelbook cases but no he does have it open but he kept the plastic wrap on there which I don't even care. Like, I'll probably actually take the plastic wrap off because I don't really like the glisten. And no, I don't, I don't really like that. So I'll eventually just take this off anyway. I don't really like... Yeah, why not? Not a big fan of it. Just because... I like my back on here. I don't, I don't like this, per se, on the back of it. Oh, man. There's nothing. I thought they'd have, like, another image or something. Be real careful with this. Come on, don't don't rip it. Be super gentle. I wanted to take that chance. What you do, if it does end up messing up your artwork, you just stick it on there and pretend it never that didn't happen. So look at that. There ain't nothing on there. I was able to get it off without damaging because I always hate where you see like a little dab or something then I would be like I'm gonna stick this back on and just pretend I don't have it so beautiful the Scream Factory one I have the disc of the DVD for the director's cut now I have this director's cut from Arrow which I like more and you don't gotta worry about that this label this thing I just hate this when it's on there I put up with it but I don't like it So, so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the booklet. Okay. So if you get a booklet, and it even has a spine on it, and nothing on the back really too crazy. And then the poster, of course, which I will frame, because I've wanted to frame this for a while now. Some 
fucking. Which I'm gonna do this one. I, the other one is cool, but I love the glowy eyes, as you can see. Those eyes are awesome. That's what makes that photo. That's why I mainly wanted this. It's cool that he has the eyes on it, and then you're like, well, bam, he got the eyes all glowy. And you're like, yes, glowy eyes. Non glowing eyes. And I like that they switched that up. It's not something you're gonna normally see, like, because if you didn't get this box set, you're not gonna see that. You would just be like, oh, his normal glow eyes. And you get some, you know, boring stuff about other stuff they're trying to sell or whatever. Probably never watched none of that. And some other stuff, like, you know, just the classic stuff they throw in there that you probably keep in there to keep it legit looking. Alright, so, theoretical and director's cut. Bonus features. And these are really pretty discs. They're like brand new. And then you get the classic Night Parade. Other, you know, if you want to flip it out, you can. And that's what you would get. Um, which I, I'm actually going to probably do. Because, you know, I already have the other image. So why not? It's cool that, uh, oh, this one doesn't have the little circle thing on it, so of course I'm going to do that. I hate that circle thing. I hate that 15, and then you get, like, all the, I don't know what's in there, but it's like BBBB or something. I just don't like it. It's like, I feel like it distorts the artwork. Like, you just don't. So that's what it looks like with the original library, and I like that because I'll just stick it right in. No, I'm supposed to put this disc back in. Very, very happy. Very, 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 very happy. This is definitely going to make my day opening this up. Wanted to for a little bit now. Thinking I was going to get them other packages, but those packages just take a lot. You know, one of them I ordered like forever ago, like a month or so ago. I canceled it, so that was the Walmart one. Alright. Yes. Very, very happy. And I'll take the poster out here in a second. And. thing too what do you guys do with these do you guys toss them out i think i've tossed a couple of these out because i just don't really care it's not like a slip it's kind of like a thing you know you put on there some people like them some people probably don't i'm not really a fan because you can't really do anything with that just kind of like Meh. all right the cd store source stuff that i got Now this is a TV show that I've actually been watching. I watched the first disc of it and I'm, I'm digging it. So, this is what I got. Californication, David Duchovny. Now I've been watching X-Files and um, I've been flipping back and forth. Like I watched season one of X-Files and I've been going back and forth with him and this. And like you're either gonna love this humor, it's like dry humor, or you're just you know, you might, it might make you mad. I don't know. He's the man, though. So I watched this one. There's nothing special about these. Like, you open them up. And it, this is, like, the first season. You know, they probably kind of cheapened out on it. And then this, too. Yeah, of course, nothing too crazy. So, yeah. I'll move it on here for you guys that just want to see the pickups. That was the second one where it's a blockbuster one where you get disc one, disc two, and it's rubber band. That's how they do it. And then uh, third season, and there's like the sixth season too I need to pick up. Um, I'll open all these up here in a little bit. Try to, I forgot that I was continuing forever here. Now I did get this and I did just get this for ginger, the ginger dead man with uh, Gary Busey in it. 
is the only reason. The rest of these films I could care less about. Um, whoa. One of them just flew right out. I'll stick that back in there. And Nicolas Cage MGM films. I got that too. Uh, now I just traded a bunch of stuff to this place for DVDs because DVDs are awesome. Honeymoon in Vegas, Moonstruck, and then Leaving Vegas. I really like that. I, all these movies are really good. I prefer these two. Uh, definitely a good Valentine's movie for Moonstruck. Well, any of these really is the, because they're all about a lover with Nicolas Cage, really. So, uh, really any of them. This was five bucks. But, I mean, you can't beat that considering these all on digital. That's why I'd probably buy them because the, there is Blu-rays of them individually, but I just don't care because my Nick Cage collection is taking up a lot of room. So it's like, whatever, this is good enough. It's MGM and I just, you know, I'm happy with that. I, I like it. So that's what I've picked up, guys. If you want to turn off now, go ahead. Either way, you're going to put up with what I'm going to do now. Yeah. So this... I flopped the case out and it's not working very well as you can see it's falling out because these are kind of cracked here as you you know they're busted so that's why it's gonna keep falling out which i don't really care although this one's not falling out that much so i'm gonna kind of flip that one out ginger dead man that's what i'm gonna do because i want i want the one to not get scratched up i could care less about this other one getting scratched up or not so yeah um and then I got this tray that I was going to stick in here for this. Um, and I was going to do it where I stuck these trays in for these other seasons in here or whatever. But I need to get, like, you know, obviously another disc here because it's a three disc thing for the Boardwalk Empire. So I want to, it bugs me to not have the discs inside here. Like, they give you those, like, one things like a blue case with like all the discs all crammed up and then they put like these little tints in there to like keep them all scratchless and stuff but yeah no i don't like that all right so i'm gonna put one of these on now i definitely recommend uh california if you guys haven't checked that out definitely check it out you're either gonna love it or you're probably gonna hate it i don't know i like it it's a fun show the thing with tv too like it's hard for me to watch newer tv i guess like there's some good newer tv don't get me wrong but just a lot of um tv in general i just don't care about like it's just kind of like meh like i'll watch like two episodes or one episode like the new or the true detective season two i couldn't get into that two see or two episodes in i was like i still don't like this so i was like uh-uh I'm done. They messed that up. You know, really good actors. Like, just wasn't enough. Like, I would watch it just for um, one of the actors to, like, flip out randomly. Oh, this kid getting bullied at school and stuff. That was fun. But it's just, like, he couldn't run the show. It's like you expected that one actor to, like, Colin Farrell. Yeah, him. And... Vince Vaughn was in it, and those are the two that I was hoping, like, those are the only two I cared about, I didn't care about the other ones that were in that show, but they were in it, and it was just like, I don't know, it was too many stories going on at once, I think they were saying it was supposed to be kind of like David Lynch, uh, it works in a David Lynch universe, it just doesn't work in that type of scenario, like, David Lynch has got it going on with his stuff. Alright, so this has got... Yeah, a case. So this finally has one. I think I got this as a family video too originally. So it's real nice and pretty. And yeah, happy with that. So, I don't know. And these ones, I don't think there's really much in there. I think it's just the scenes. Um, so one, just two here. So there's nothing like too special about them. And I think it even has like the scenes on the back here, which. You have it inside, and then you have it outside, too, so that's nice. And Blockbuster, you know, just like that cheap, nothing special. Just the disc itself, so. That's just how it is. Good morning. Good morning. Go back upstairs, okay? I'll be back up in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, sir, that was my daughter. Been a 
happen when you got kids running around in the morning. That's why I try to sneak these videos real early so you don't got, you know, get interrupted. But there ain't much you can do about it. Now let's do. Now I got this at Michael's too. This is actually signed the poster I have in here. There's a Michael Berryman poster and it's all signed up. Um, that I got at a convention, or I got him to sign it. As you can see in the corner there. I'm surprised I have two posters. Oh, Hills Have Eyes too. Yeah, and then I, I had that poster in here, so I had two posters of Arrow already previously in here. So let's add this one. Try not to mess them up here. Now I have three posters sitting in here. And, uh, this is from Michaels, and I think I paid like maybe 30 or 25 for it. I don't remember, but it was like you get those coupons that would make it cheap. So I jumped on it. Like where it was half off or 40% off or whatever they call it. That's definitely a tighter fit. Problem is, too, is this poster as in these other ones I've been all flying duck. So. Try to get this one all in here. It's because it's got that crease. that looks like. I need to, you know, put the back on here real quick, but very, very happy with it. Put it back on. I might actually stick one of the posters out. It looks like it's kind of... popping it so yeah tell me what you guys think if you like this kind of video obviously it's a lot longer so you know keep me posted you know try to have some fun here with some cool stuff i'm just so happy with this very very happy with it so yeah you guys have a good morning too like i said i tried to wait for stuff but ended up having to go to cd source to pick up fans and ginger dead man can't wait again. I haven't seen that in a while. I love Gary Busey and that. Alright, see you guys next time. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want. It's up to you.